Hello everyone, this is Sario Atani and thanks for stopping by my poster. I'm a master's student at the Centre for Social Evolution CSE at the University of Copenhagen, Denmark. We are a centre of excellence and we try to answer questions regarding evolution, development and ecology. Actually at the centre we include several model organisms including ants, bees and wasps and also termites. Um, I'm actually involved in the Fungus and Termites project and in the next three minutes I'm going to talk about this system using slides of photos that we've taken our last trip in South Africa. Enjoy and thanks for stopping again. So in February 2013 we travelled from Copenhagen, Denmark to Pretoria in South Africa in order to look for fungus growing termite mounds, microtermies and odentotermies in particular. So here we are in Pretoria, South Africa when we started looking for and digging fungus growing termite mounds in order to find fungus comb chambers, which we're going to talk about in a bit. Actually you could easily fit two adults in some of the holes we dug. Here you can see Macaternus natalensis mound, which is special by its pointy elevated chimney, whereas in Odinotermus mounds you don't see this unique structure, it's a bit more flattened. Fungus grown termites are excellent interior designers. They built their mounds to have chambers where they keep their fungus comb structure, and they cultivate their ectosymbiotic fungi to metamysis on this substrate. You can see here chambers of Macaternus natalensis colony. These structures are the fungus comb and you can easily see the ceramitomyces nodules attached to it. Talking about fungus growing termites themselves, they are actually unique and they have a complex morphology. They mainly have two castes, soldiers and workers. In this Macrotermis natalensis colony you can see the dimorphic soldier caste. You can see the major soldier, the minor soldier and they also have dimorphic worker cast, major worker, and this little guy is the minor one. Actually we took this photo of Macaternus natalensis colony an hour after we dug it. And you can see the guys are going out trying to repair what we've damaged. An odontotermis is a different case. You can see monomorphic uh, soldier cast and dimorphic worker cast. You can see the ma major worker and the minor worker. This is a close-up of a major soldier Macrotermus natalensis, and you can see it in the fungus comb. You can easily see the nodule of Trometomyces attached to the structure. And these guys are Odontotermus major soldiers. Actually, soldiers, it's monomorphic. And you can see the nodules of Trometomyces. Each fungus growing termite colony has a royal chamber where the king and the queen are located. This is one of the, of the royal chamber that we dug out in South Africa, and if you open it, you can see the king and the queen. This is the queen of Macrotermis natalensis and its king and you can compare their huge sizes to the major worker of the same species. We also managed to collect some winged reproductive of Odontotermis and also several colony of Microtermis, the tiny fungus growing termites and you can see also the winged reproductive cast that we managed to collect. We were also lucky to find some mushroom of the Trimetomyces in one of the sites that we found. We are we are actually continuing our fungus growing termite project by using the same high throughput sequencing technique you've read on the poster. And also we're employing many other multi-omics techniques in order to better understand this system. We can talk for hours about fungus growing termites, but let me let's make it shorter this time. Thanks for watching and please read and cite my paper once it's published. Cheers.